Good morning. It is Friday morning on February 17th, 2023. And uh, I went to bed at about 8.30 last night and got up at 3.30 because we're going to try to make it to the bins in our window that we have. Um, I listened to the report this morning and he's talking about like 10 more days of just what he calls Arctic, um, what is it? I, not Arctic air, some, some other term that's kind of funny, uh, Ar Arctic polar front or something. And, um, so, uh, the weather's going to be very unpredictable for the next 10 days. Um, I do have the jewelry lot to work on. I have tons of paperwork to work on, but the jewelry lot, I'm not charging what I normally would, so I can't focus on that, even though, you know, it could get me by for a week of work. It won't keep my income where I need it to be, and uh, I have about 10 things to list that aren't dealt with. That's it, literally. I, um... Woke up this morning, I took um, 505 um, photos, and those are uploading now to my VA on a Google photo thing, Google Doc, and um, 10 of them or something like that are things from my son that are consignment things, and there's some really good things. I will do a haul on those. I just don't have time this morning because we're trying to get out of here to Denver. And, uh, but before I box them and put them away, I will do a haul on those. Um, it's some interesting things. I don't even know what some of them are. They're weird toys. I don't know. <laughs> some kind of a crane. And then, you know, there's a car and some common sense things. There's some boots. But, um, anyway, some interesting things that he's found. And I will open up the spreadsheet and tell you what he thinks they're worth. Um, so anyway, my VA will work on those listings today and tomorrow, and so um, I will uh, go ahead and pay him. I'll launch what I can from the hotel, uh, things that I can estimate the shipping on, and then, you know, I'll finish them tomorrow um, night when I get home or Sunday. And so then I will have 30 listings that shouldn't take me too much time since he's done a lot of the work. Um, yesterday I only listed seven. I photoed 22 and I listed seven last night and then I had five going up this morning just in case my sleep was off or I got too busy and couldn't get anything listed today. So I at least have five already going up. I'm going to try to list four, five, six, ten more because I've got them photoed. They're right here by my feet. And my husband is going to take my mail to the post office, go get gas. Um, I'm already pretty well loaded. I've got my stuff by the door. And um, I just want to be to, sh to uh, the Denver bins by 2 or 3 in the afternoon. And then that's a good time. I mean, normally on a Friday, Saturday, I feel like those are some of the best times. From Friday, you know, most people been there all week. They're done, you know, especially by 4 or 5. They're leaving. So I feel like I get a couple hour window on Friday afternoons or into the evening where a lot of people are just gone. And then I feel like Saturday is normally a decent day. However, Monday is President's Day. I don't know if people are going to buy extra to get through Monday or if they're going to worry about that the following week. I have no idea what I'm up against. Um, but this is my only window. <laughs> um, what I'm going to do is try to get bras for my consignment customer, consignment for this other guy who might be interested. If not, I'll sell it. It'll be good stuff because that's the only things he wants are certain things that I'm willing to sell if he doesn't want them. Um, then I'm going to try to get consignment for the consignment store. I have about two weeks worth of winter. I have a ton of spring and summer built up, but I need some more kind of, um, you know, uh, not flannels, I would say lightweight jackets. Going into the spring in Wyoming is still really pretty cool, and especially the way it looks, we have weeks and weeks of still people wanting warm things. So I'm going to try to transition slowly from winter to spring, 
And um, I list things all year round. So I would still list a winter jacket in my store right now. I don't really worry that much about it. Um, things sell for me at all kinds of odd times. Um, I know in Australia, you know, our summer is when they're freezing. So I sell a lot of stuff like that. I'm not going to worry about it too much, but I do want to make sure I get a lot of boho like peasant shirts and lightweight things, um, lucky brand, you know, those kind of things if I can find it. So I'm hoping in the short time I have, it's really like half a day to day and about, I mean, I could stay till four tomorrow if I want to, but then the drive home is like three hours and then the unloading and it just gets to be a very tedious long Saturday. And then we have church on Sunday and we have some people staying with us. They're not people we're going to visit with that much. They're just kind of sleeping here and then they're with their family, but we do chat with them a little bit and then it limits me because... My only spare bedroom since I have, you know, my eBay in the garage and then this whole room is either a family room or a bedroom, um, however you look at it. It has closets, so it used to be our bedroom. Now all of our bedrooms that we actually use are upstairs, but... Um, it's our only spare bedroom and it it's wall to, it's you know right behind that wall so the wall is together so i can still work in here i can type quietly but when you have someone staying with you and it's 2 in the morning that's a little rude so that's why i'm trying to have my va prep everything on sunday afternoon after church when they're gone with their family i will try to launch a bunch of stuff and finish a bunch of stuff and then they leave usually pretty early so on monday morning they should be you know gone fairly early on monday monday is not a shipping day because it's president's day so don't forget that but i am going to pre-prep my shipping so i still will do shipping videos on sunday and monday as long as i have sales just so that tuesday is not such a um you know a stressful day um all right guys so let's ship i have I have 11 orders for $417.70 total, 77 cents total. Now, I have one heavy thing. I don't know how where that's going to and how much the shipping is going to be. And, um, you know, I have a few priority things. But otherwise, a lot of that is profit. So let's get started. Let's do the heavy thing first. So we know how much of that 417 is shipping. So this is, um, this is how big this is. It is 24 by 16 by 11. This is a vintage Stebco Pilots briefcase. It's an attache travel case. Um, I want to say I might have paid 10 on this. This was not a good buy in the end. Um, these can go for like 70 or $80. Mine had a little bit of wear, but I didn't think it was extensive for something that's like 50 years old. But um, I've had it for a long time. I've had it, I don't know what day I listed this. It's been at least three to four months, if not longer. Um, and so I just decided to go ahead and let it go. The case itself is 22 inches by 9 by 13. So, you know, this box isn't that much bigger than the case. I took 25 for it plus shipping. We'll see if I made any on the shipping depending on where this is going. Let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, it sold via promoted, but they did not use my coupon. Because uh, I took an offer. Um, I'm just happy. This is taking up a ton of space in my garage. And it's just not moving. I've had, you know, a lot of views on it. It must just be the damage on the bottom. Or just the, the expense of shipping it. Which I get. Okay, this is going to Georgia. And I charged 32 by UPS. It's going to cost me 27 So, I mean, technically I made a few extra bucks there. Um, you know, not as good as if it were going somewhere closer. For the customer, this is still, you know, 62 bucks, And um, that's why I try to be real careful how heavy of things I sell, just because I know that from Wyoming especially, they're going to get hit with a decent shipping charge, maybe like $8 more than if I lived, you know, even in off the interstate or on the interstate. I live off the interstate. So I know that my shipping is a little higher than most people's. So I really try to be careful on stuff like this. I just, I think the wear um, mattered more than I thought it did. So anyway, let's get this out of here. So 
sometimes you just got to admit defeat. I know I could have waited forever and ever and ever, and it's not really hurting anybody in my garage. I just feel like, um, you know, even let's say really conservatively after all the eBay fees and stuff, I made $12. Let's say I netted $12 after everything. Um, you know, that I'm going to the bins today. That literally is... Um, potentially 24 kind of lightweight shirts that could sell for around 18 to 20 each. So, I, I mean, I try not to obsess about it. If you if you look at the value of your money when you're reinvesting it, you can get kind of so crazy that you won't buy groceries because you're like, well, this isn't really $2. This is, you know, I could get four things at the bins and then it becomes, you know, $20. You can get to where you won't buy anything. If you really did the math, you probably wouldn't buy anything if you look at how much we can make on just a couple of dollars. So I try not to go overboard on that, but I do feel like... I'm not going to get much more than this on this anyway. I mean, I could probably stretch it out and get 50. Um, but anyway, I'm happy with it. I just, I made a decision. I can't wait to get rid of those two projectors in the garage too. I tried selling them for the church. I'm going to um, do a lot of editing next week. Unless I just really, you know, get there and no one's there and I just find the mother load, you know, I'm going to feel blessed if I even get 50 or 60 good items in the time I have at the bins, um, you know, and so, and that has to last me who knows how long. I'm just going to come home. I'm not going to fret about it. I'll spread that out and try to do seven or eight items a day if that's what it really comes down to. I'll try to get some things locally and then I'll just hit the jewelry. That'll keep my store doing really well. Like my store itself should not slow down because I can do the jewelry. Um, and then for my profit, I'll just edit like crazy, list what I do have, and then try to go locally. And then um, the minute I have a window, even for just one day, I'll get in the car and drive to Laramie and Cheyenne and then just turn around and get back home by that night. And that's what I'm going to probably have to do for the next 10 days. Um, or if I see that there is a window and, um, oh, what happened? Okay, there we go. Or if I see there is a window and I can be just kind of trapped away for two days, but then it's like going to definitely have a window where I can get home on that third day, then I'll probably just go to Denver and just stay two to three nights and and uh, go ahead and solve this problem once and for all. Won't you be glad when I don't have to talk about, I don't have any inventory, I'm out, what am I going to do? I'm sure you'll be glad to hear the end of that and I will be super happy to not have to <laughs> not have to do this. Oh, it'd be so nice. Okay, this is a Halo 2 Xbox Limited Collector's Edition Steel Book complete. It's got the manual and two discs. This is from my son. I already printed off our sheet for the day um, of what he sold. So this um, sold via promoted, no coupon. I've um, figured out how to kind of keep my you know coupon off of his stuff because you know, it was just getting hard on his stuff. I don't know it as well. Like, am I willing to take 30% off of that? He wouldn't care if it got trapped in there, but I just, I don't want to do that. I want to get decent prices for this stuff. And so I finally, I just have the um, coupons on my clothing and I don't have it on any of his stuff. And then he just reduces the prices. Like he goes through that spreadsheet and every couple weeks he looks at what has not sold. And if something hasn't sold, we just reduce the price rather than having a coupon on it. It helps a lot that way. And I don't know how much I'll promote some of his stuff. This is like a video game. There is no need to promote a lot of what he gives me because it is very fast flipping stuff. Okay, this is going to Florida. So yeah, we'll probably stop at like Chick-fil-A on the way. It depends on kind of what time we finally get out of here. But we'll have lunch somewhere that we like. I don't think we'll take the time to sit down, but we might, you know. I'm just doing the best I can um, these next two days. It's not my only time I'm going to source. I know there'll be at least one day sometime later in the week. Um, but we'll probably just 
try to eat in the car at least for lunch and just eat kind of light because then we're going to meet my son for supper so it is friday night and um you know that's always hard even in denver to kind of get into some restaurants even late so we probably won't eat till eight or nine and sometimes my son's in the middle of shopping and he's finding good stuff and then he ends up not wanting to stop and take a break and i get that like that's what we're there for right so um I don't know what my husband and I'll do for supper. I haven't even booked the hotel yet. Got to get that done. I'm just, I'll do all that in the car. He'll drive. I did sleep probably just as much as he did by the time I went to bed so early. I got up a few times. Um, I'm not used to going to bed at 8.30, that's for sure. And um, But thankfully, I was pretty tired from the night before because I just had to push it to even get to this point. And um, so thankfully, I, I feel fairly rested. But in the car, I'll have to download podcasts. I'll have to um, make the hotel reservation and just do a lot of stuff like that. All right, this is, let's see where we're at. This is an Orvis vest. I've had this not very long. It's it's um, only a couple hundred items ago. It's a really nice thick vest. Let's see where we're at here. Let me read more about it. It's ribbed. It's got a mock neck. It's a full zip, and it's a men's medium. Um, it sold via promoted, no coupon, so it sold for $24.25 plus shipping. So $34. Let me see if I can bend this up. My husband's either going to walk the dog this morning or play with the dog. Um, I don't even know how much snow we're really going to get in the next 10 days. It just seems like it's that Arctic cold front and that it's going to be like really, really cold. Um, which is no big deal. If you stay on the interstate and you have blankets and I have that... Um, we have that AAA. My son actually had a flat tire a couple weeks ago, and it was frigid, but AAA was right there. Now, he broke down closer to Colorado where there's more tow trucks and all that. So you could be out there an hour and a half, especially if a lot of people have called, you know, called for a tow truck. But I'm just not that worried about it. I'll just pack accordingly, and it may not end up being as bad as it sounds. He seemed to focus a lot more on the cold, and then he did talk about snow for a certain period of time. But what can I do? This is going to Pennsylvania. What can you do? I guess, I, yeah, I have one more St. John's piece. It does have a flaw. I forgot what the flaw was, like a hole or something. I'll have to look at it again. Um, I haven't even looked it up yet. It's got a tiger motif on it. So for St. John, it should be really easy to look up. But it is a size 4. So i got to list that in a minute here. Then I've got some Madewell, some Icelandic design, um, and just stuff that I've showed you in the last couple days on my haul video from that consignment store. I want to get that in. I'm going to, I need some listings going up tomorrow. So even if I can only get five done before we want to leave, I'll launch them for tomorrow. I'll just be happy with the five that went up today if I have to be, because um, it's either do five more today and have 10 today or have five tomorrow. So one way or another, um, I'm just going to be short with having my at least 10 a day. Some of these things are high enough in that I'm in the 40, 50, even, you know, $75 mark. So I don't like it, but if I'm listing my goal overall is really $500 in listings a day. That's the ultimate goal. Um, normally, that takes me 20 or 30 items um, to do. But with the quality of some of the stuff I've been finding lately, um, you know, I can go a little lower on the numbers. All right, this is In the Heat of the Night. We sold a different set uh, if you do watch some of my um, shipping videos, you'll remember. This is another set of the Heat of the Night um, DVDs. So if you see those, it's that, you know, um, police drama. I grew up with it. It's 
it was pretty good at the time anyway um people still love it apparently it sold uh via promoted listings um it's 8782 total shipped so this is volume one two three and four clean and tested and working so that's how we sold it as um my son uh you know looks at everything really carefully and uh I don't get much returns on anything that he gives me. I think I've had maybe one, and it's, you know, probably because I photoed it and didn't realize there was more of a crease in the toy than I thought, and collectors are, of course. They have the right to be very picky about that, and that's fine. And I just, you know, missed it. I can tell by my photos that it's not that they're making it up. I just um, probably didn't describe it well enough as far as the package i put that it had package wear but collectors that's different than a little tear that i i missed and um this is going to wisconsin so let me see parcel select is 822 let's see what priority would be priority would be 882 so let's go for it i charged them 1025 so we definitely want to at least upgrade them and get this there so that's good I'm getting really low on these I hope you know I don't know yeah I I can tell pretty much unless they happen to come today or tomorrow in the mail I'm gonna run out so you'll see me taping stuff it's not gonna be fun not fun at all if my son had these I would borrow some from him but he doesn't I just missed the boat on that. I can go look at when it's supposed to arrive, but you know, they say they'll say a certain day and then even Amazon around here will give it to the post office rather than deliver it on my front step some of the time. And then the post office needs a day to like find it and put it in the box and so it can be actually 2 to 3 days after when it's supposed to come. On the other hand, you know, there's some weeks where I just don't want to spend $250 on, you know, supplies that technically I don't need yet. Um, so I'm just trying to get that balance, you know. I probably need to just, um, time-wise, I need to just probably estimate, okay, for the last three months, this is how many orders a month I've had. Up that by a couple hundred just in case, you know, and then just have it on the... Um, what do you call it? Just it ships automatically, you know, on Amazon. Subscribe and save. That's what it's called. I need to probably just do that. Your time is money. So every time I have to go in and order it again, you know, that's one listing I could have done. So when you really look at it that way, it's costing me a lot more than that not to have the subscribe and save done. Okay. Just making sure the edges of this are sealed. All right, this is, I'm really happy with my Talbots, my Coldwater Creek, some of these sales. Even though they're not super high-end sales, it's stuff I can pick up at the bins. I'm trying to focus on the bigger sizes. And, um, you know, it just, it really is extending what I feel like I can pick up. This is a Coldwater Creek skirt. It's a maxi skirt. I won't unroll the whole thing, but it's really, really cute. It has that detail at the bottom. It is a petite large, which, you know, I was like, ah, oh, petite, is that, you know, going to sell as fast? Um, certainly it wouldn't sell as fast as a tall skirt. But anyway, it did. It sold very quickly. I've only had this about a week, I want to say. And um, they use promoted. They did not use a coupon. So it's $15.83 plus shipping. So $23.91. I started this at like $20 or $22 knowing that I was willing. Uh, I've got to put a piece of tape up here so I can get rid of these uh, tabs. So uh, knowing that I would be willing to probably even do $13 because this is um, right at a pound almost. And so... Um, Actually, it's a little lighter. I guess I was listing this on the road. I don't know why I put that as a um, as a priority. I think it was just because it was a maxi skirt. Let me see where it's going here. I'm not going to switch it now because eBay won't like that. Yeah, it's going to Arizona. No, I do have it as first class. So why do I have it in this package? I don't know. I'm like, I don't know why I would have called that priority. That is strange. 
Let's switch this real quick. So the customer thinks they're getting first class, so we're not going to up that for no reason. And it's only going to Arizona, so it should get there pretty quick. All right. I was going to say, I, you know, I'm not, not uh, above making mistakes, but I'm just like that. You know, I've done this for a long time. I'm like, why would I have called that priority? Good thing. Okay. That makes more sense. Let's get down to first class. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Where are we here? There we go. Okay. Uh, it's going to cost me $6.22 and I charged them $6.75. It should be a nice day to drive. It's going to be really windy, but there's no moisture. I mean, I haven't actually checked our road yet, but as far as I know, um, it's just going to be kind of cold and, um, but we have a blanket in the car and it shouldn't be too cold to leave our doggy in the car for an hour at a time. My husband helps me at the bins for an hour. Um, every time we have two or three trash bags, he pays for them and takes them outside, checks on the dog, takes the dog for a walk, whatever, you know, every, every so often, not necessarily every hour. And, um, in the summer, you know, I can get back and forth either the same day or just go for one night and I don't have to have my husband's help as much because I have so much garage sale inventory and my son, you know, and I go together and do that. But um, I'm glad my husband's going to try to come help me because this, this week I definitely need to, you know, I need to be the one just pulling as much as I can every time there's a rotation and then I need to be the one full time just making the decisions of do we keep it or, or should he put it back. Then I make him a pile on the floor. He takes it back and then he goes and gets more. And um, I'm going to have to find a list for him of what I need him to get. The problem is, is that the stuff you put back, it gets distributed all the way out through the bins again. And then sometimes he'll bring it back to me because it is an interesting piece. It just has a hole or it's not the right thing. And so that's the problem is, you know, when we dump somewhere, then um, he needs to like go totally far away and pick through again, not where we've dumped. And so we have a lot to work out, um, <laughs> you know. All right, this is a good sale. I had a lot higher on this. I think I had 75 on this. It's got this big dragon motif. It's an Ed Hardy shirt. Um, it's got skulls, dragons. It's a pearl snap, too. And um, I've had this. Let's see. This is 3,900. I would have had this going on probably uh, like six weeks at the most. Um, it's a bins find. And it is a men's large. So um, I ended up taking $35 plus shipping, so $41.75. And this sold via promoted, but they did not use a coupon. Okay, let's see where this is going. Based on their name, they might be a reseller, which is great. I hope they do better. I'm so happy with my, this isn't even 13 ounces, so I'm happy with my $1.50 to 35 I will take it. This is going, um, you know, to Glendale Heights, Illinois, which um, since it's going to the International Boulevard and then it has eBay and a number on it, um, this this is going overseas somewhere. Um, or it's going to a, uh, I forgot what the name of the places are. Anyway, so for me, it's not my problem. It's only $6.22 to ship it and then eBay will take it from there. Oh, I don't have any paper in there. Let's see. What did I do with my paper? Ah. <laughs> I forgot that I printed. Um, I had paper this morning, but and I was going to do my haul, my uh, shipping video first when I very first got up at um, 3.30, but then I figured I better get my VA those photos first just in case he needs work for today. 
And, uh, and he may actually get, you know, five or ten of them done before I leave, which would be great. Then I wouldn't have to list these. I could just finish the ones he has done. I'll go see if he's able to work on them today. It doesn't matter either way. But um, anyway, so I had paper, and then I printed off the sheets that I used to send him the information. And, uh, yeah, so <laughs> forgot I was out of paper. I've got to bring some more in from outside. If you don't, if you're new to my channel or haven't heard my story, I was at an estate sale two summers ago now, and I mean, I got there three or four weeks after they started this thing. It was a family-run estate sale, so they just kept pulling stuff out, and they had this huge kind of—I don't want to call it just a garage because it was much bigger than that. It's almost like a workshop that the guy had had. And so I was there way late to the game, but I still found so much stuff. Um, I did buy a lot of vintage soap, which I thought would do better, but the brands I picked, I ended up having to, like I listed them all, but that was my mistake from that um, from that haul. But I ended up finding copy paper. I mean, I guess there was just so much other stuff that the resellers and the, and the pickers just were so focused on all the great stuff they probably got for who knows how many weeks weeks um that they just had cases of copy paper and she gave it to me for like under a dollar a ream and so I think I have 10 more um 10 more uh reams of it um, I'm talking about cases is what I bought but I have 10 more reams I think left and um I've had it for two years like that's the only paper I've bought for two years so that was a great buy and then plus all the stuff I got to resell um, I got a bunch of vintage ski suits there. I got the soap, which didn't end up to be that good. I mean, I made my money back on it, but not really for my labor and time. Um, my son took so much stuff out of there. Oh, I know. I got a bunch of books there. Um, let's see. They weren't UFO books. They were some kind of something books, and I sold um, at least one of those for like 90 bucks. So yeah, uh, those those are what I can't wait for again. I uh, commented on Mountain Man Treasures, one of his video. He's real cool. He's from Montana. And he had said that he couldn't wait for garage sales to start. And he thought they'd start around April, I thought he said. So I commented on his video and he got back with me. And I'm like, you know, is that like when a lot of your start? I can't remember exactly when our start. But my son is thinking that ours started to pick up here in Wyoming around April. So that gives us about two months um, for me to get all my bin stuff in order, bought ahead, all of my consignment stuff bought ahead. Um, like I've explained before, in the summer, um, the college students leave the town where I'm at, so they don't consign as much. And so the consignment store, you know, maybe they get some more people from out of town who bring stuff. I don't know. But, um, you know, shorts and sandals, I will have a great advantage if I can give them a lot of that stuff in the summer because all the college kids, a lot of them don't stay for the summer and they're gone. So that population of that town goes way down. On the other hand, you have a bunch of tourists coming through for Cheyenne Frontier Days and a bunch of shoppers and people from other cities around Wyoming who can travel finally. And um, and so, you know, I should make some good money toward my inventory in the summer. And, um, and I may not even end up using that credit in the summer. It's not that I won't do clothing. It's just that um, I might let it build up, just keep doing my garage sales. And then in October and November, when I can't go anywhere, then I'll go buy a bunch of consignment stuff. Who knows? Um, this is a Tommy Bahama dress. It's a... Um, uh, large and it's got a maxi skirt on it. It's like a sleeveless kind of um, like a summery dress anyway. Um, and so they used promoted listings, but they did not use my coupon. So it sold for 15 plus shipping 2301. So see, you know, I mean, I'm selling a lot of summer stuff already. I got this at the bins. So um, this is, this would have cost me right at a dollar because it's six ounces. So um, I don't know what to buy today. I just feel like I have to buy all seasons. And I am trying to start investing, like I've talked about before, $25 to $50 a week on stuff that I don't 
plan on selling this week. Um, I've got to go check. I know I've got at least three spring um, boxfuls to take to um, the consignment store, and then I've got several summer ones, but I want to try to double that, and then I want to buy winter, even if I decide, okay, this is a consignment piece, and then they quit taking winter. I would be happy to get a get a head start on next year. This has been just too crazy. Um, this is going to Bradenton, Florida, and I'm gonna keep about two bucks on the shipping on this one. It's thinking. Sorry, it's taken a while. It's because I'm it's because I'm uploading photos also. I, I noticed that, like I told you the other day, if you were watching that video, happened to catch it, that when I'm out of town, if I do a video for you guys and upload it out of town on my Verizon box, that it's just like, whoom! And I was like, what happened? So I've got to call and check on my internet and see if I am just... You know, it's been, I don't know, five years since I've upgraded. I'm sure I'm on slow-mo. The other thing, though, is that they might say it's 5G, but as far as I know, we don't have 5G here yet. I've got to check on all that. Maybe we did finally get 5G. Um, and, and so I really was thinking it was my computer and all of that, but it's not. My computer works like a workhorse when I'm out of town at the hotel. So it's just... Um, it's just whatever internet I have. I, I'm right not too far down here. I'm just right close to the the um, router, so it's not that I need an extender. Upstairs I could see where that might be the case, but um, so it shouldn't be that like I need an extender. I know I could move it in here. I've got a phone jack right here. I could move it in here and hardwire my laptop to it, you know, so that... Um, and I know that might be worth doing, too. So I've got a lot of things like that I need to, to take care of. Because, I mean, that, you know, seconds of loading time, that adds up not only during the day, but if you just think about a year of your time standing here, you know, waiting, like even the shipping, you know, um, let alone when you're talking about listing. Okay, this is a Banana Republic Pima cotton polo. It's a 2XL. This is a bins find. Um, and I'm real happy with this, actually. It sold via promoted, but they gave me 10 bucks plus shipping, so $17.41. Um, I think for a Banana Republic polo in the middle of winter, at least where I'm at in the middle of winter, I think that is good, good, good. So I would say that's about a $7 profit after eBay fees, after everything. Um, this is going to Wisconsin, so it's only $4.88, so I kept about $1.50 on the shipping also. So you can't beat that. Yeah, the problem when I go to Denver is deciding which restaurants because there's so many favorites that we have. And um, I do Tokyo Joe's. However, that's convenient for me to do just when I'm by myself. And my husband might be hungry for it, and he doesn't come with me as much. So we might do that again, and that's fine. Um, it depends on if my son can go. But there's all kinds of Vietnamese restaurants in that area. And so, yeah, I'm hungry already. <laughs> But I will get my Diet Frosted Lemonade at Chick-fil-A. If you watch my videos, you know that that's where I, I like to go. The chicken I love too, but that's secondary to getting that Diet Frosted Lemonade. If you don't know what that is, look it up. My husband and I, we had to carry some of my packing materials that I keep in the spare bedroom over here because I don't have people come stay that often. We're always on the road, so we just go see people. And um, so that was the only thing that we had to move, which is good. Um, we just had to move packing upstairs in our spare kind of, it's kind of a music room. My husband goes in there. He uh, plays keyboard and guitar, and so he has his guitars and stuff up there. And then I have a few kitchen things in there. Sorry, he's vacuuming right outside the door. Um, which, hey, I'm not going to... Someone helping me vacuum, I'm not going to complain, right? 
I am thankful. <laughs> but since we're having company from the church, I told him, you know, I am pushed to the limit because somebody called and said, can they stay here? And of course, the answer is always going to be yes. But I told my husband, you know, I will like, I have like 10 minutes to like, help you clean like that is it like you're gonna have to dust and the bed is always made our pets don't go in there the door is always shut so um it's pretty much company ready but I said you know I just have nothing to spare because of this weather and he's he was fine with that this is really cute this is my son the type of stuff he finds this is a um a tasty peach studios orange cream Nam wall, nor wall, plush, large stuffed animal. So maybe you know the show or maybe you know who Norwall is. I don't know. But anyway, um, it took a while because, you know, this didn't sell right away. It's been on his list a while. We got $44.84 plus shipping, so $54.29. And so I'll get half of that. And this is the kind of thing that took me seconds to photo, like literally. It took me less than a minute to photo that thing. My VA grabs it from the spreadsheet. So this is where I make my money. Like sometimes today, you know, I, I guess there's nothing glass today. Sometimes he'll give me something that he would not sell himself, but it's like, oh, I got to pack that. And, you know, then it ends up not selling for as much. So then I'm kind of like, oh, this is a pain. But most of the stuff he gives me is like really simple like this. Um, so that is good. I don't know how many things he has on hand. Hopefully he thrifts some this weekend and gets me some more stuff. That will help extend how many trips I have to make next week. Um, let's see, first class. So I made about 10 cents on that or I get to keep 10 cents. It's going to Maryland inherently I love plush and I know that if you just buy big bags of plush or at garage sales just pick up all the plush you know and if you're paying 10 cents or 50 cents you could literally re-donate anything that turns out not to be worth it instead of standing there looking it up but that's the problem is I don't know my plush and even in Wyoming, there are so many garage sales on a Friday and a Saturday that we just can't stand there and look up too much stuff. If we do that, we miss 10 or 12 garage sales on the back end. Um, the garage sales close really early. They just they just are in that mode where they think nobody will come after noon or else they don't want to stand out there after noon, whatever the case is. And so I feel like... Um, you know, whatever research I know or whatever items I know, um, we do look up some things, but we have to have a pretty good hunch about it before we take the time to, to look it up. Otherwise, I would go to every single garage sale and I would just stay for an hour at every garage sale and just look stuff up. Um, My heart is in going to regular thrifting today. That's what I feel like doing. I don't necessarily feel like going to the bins. Once I'm there and I find that first good thing, then I'm in work mode and I'm like, yes, this is exciting. But I really feel like just doing hard goods and other stuff today. But I think it's smarter. That's closer than Denver. Denver is like almost double the um, distance of what the thrifts I normally shop at are. So I think I'm going to save the thrifts for midweek when I just have that short window. And I'll go ahead today while I have a two-day window and go all the way to Denver. Even if it hurts. All right, these are a pair of Vuori shorts. I got these at my last Vins trip, which sounds great, except I missed a flaw on them. I would have picked them up anyway, even with the flaw, but I just did not see it. It was probably in the throwback pile, and I probably thought, wow, I'm smart. You know, why'd they put these back? But then there is like a um, pretty decent size rip on the seam. Um, but anyway, um, these were an extra large. They would have been like probably, I would say $25. They're, they're, they have a subtle pattern. But anyway, for an extra large, I think I could have gotten maybe 25, close to 30. But I took $14.29 plus shipping. So $22.15 and they did not use a coupon. Right, let's see where these are going. I mean, when you can get $14 for a flawed item, and that is eight ounces, so paid maybe around a dollar. 
Not bad, not bad. Okay, I have my ounces way too high. Okay, 420 and I charged 675, so I'll get a little bit of a bump up on the shipping also. I'm not purposely doing that. It's just that I do at some level have a volume business. And so when I'm writing things out for my VA, especially if I'm really quickly trying to fill out that form, I don't have time to say, oh, I think this is a $5 shipping or a $7 shipping. So I just have flat first class and flat um, padded flat rate things. And, you know, I need to maybe have my scale over there by my photography area. I do have a table there where I write real quick what I'm wanting him to know if it's something that isn't common sense. And um, so I should probably have a scale over there and quickly throw it on there. But I think that would add a lot of time to my workflow. And I don't, you know, most items I sell are going to be over eight ounces and they are getting into the five and six dollar range. So, um, on these few items like that Tommy Bahama dress I just did and then on this I am overcharging on shipping um, but it's just too work intensive to go back and give refunds and 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 I do take offers sometimes based on that I look at that and say oh yeah I'm gonna no matter where this goes I did actually bump up the shipping so I'll take a lower offer so I just leave it as is um, but I'm not purposely trying to uh, make money on the shipping. I think people are smart and I would rather just lower the cost of the item. And um, also this ended up going to California. If it had gone farther, I wouldn't have made near that much on the shipping. All right. This is a winter silks shirt. It's, it's like a base layer. Now see, now it says I have three items. Like I told you that phone never rings. Um, Anyway, this is a winter silks um, item. Sorry about the phone, guys. They'll call back. Um, it does have a little stain right here. My husband may come in and grab it. He, I told him I was making a video, but anyway, it worries him more than it does me. Um, we've had cell phones for... Sorry, guys. We've had the same cell phones forever. So anyway... Oh, my goodness. Sorry. The only thing we ever get on there are like salespeople, seriously. Otherwise, I truly would pick it up and be worried, but we only ever get salespeople. It's like, um, you know, and it's not even real salespeople. It's like fake salespeople, like uh, scam people, because um, that's listed in the phone book as the church, and so they'll call. Um, or not as the church, but as, you know, my husband's um, number. So anyway, um, this sold for eleven fifty plus shipping, so eighteen twenty five on just that base layer. And it's sold via promoted listings, but like I said, it has it has flaws. I'm sorry about the uh, interruption between the vacuuming and the phone ringing. This is a disaster video, but I don't edit. I would never get a video made. I see a lot of people saying they put out one or two videos a week, and it's because of all the editing. Since I don't edit, I'm able to put out a lot more content, but then stuff like that happens. So I hope you'll bear with me, guys, on that. And then now I show two more orders, so they must have been paid or come in while I was standing here. I probably have my phone off the ringer, too. So I don't, I didn't get any calls on my phone, so it shouldn't be an emergency anywhere. But yeah, I have two more orders that I didn't pull, so I'm assuming that they're ones that just came in. Either that or I neglected to pull them, but I don't see any, so I don't think so. We'll see what else came in. I 
promise you that that that's what's so weird about it is that that phone will go months sometimes literally I mean maybe when we're not home it rings I don't know but when we're home and and we're home most of the time um it will not ring for literally I I won't it'll scare me when it rings because it's so unusual that it rings and three times I think making these videos and I haven't made that many videos like in the scheme of things you know and I might have an hour-long video but it's not like I have an all-day video or something and that thing will ring it's just like oh it is weird 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 okay let's see what the next two are okay so there's a pair of Columbia shorts that just got paid I'm gonna go grab these so I'll just tell you about them um, uh, sold via promoted no coupon they are a size 36 just kind of a normal Columbia um, I guess they're cargo I don't even know if they're cargo shorts anyway they sold for 1062 plus shipping so 1820 and then I did take the offer on this this morning it's a really heavy-duty kind of rugby um, hoodie uh, Polo Ralph Lauren. It's a 3X. So I took, you know, a cut on this. I could have held out for 60 if I would have wanted to wait. I've listed this a couple um, weeks ago. I, it was a bins find and it's pretty heavy. So I'm sure I paid close to $4 for it. But anyway, I took 38 plus shipping. So the customer is all in at $47.75 and no coupon on that. So I'm actually pretty happy with that. I know I could have gotten probably 20 more dollars by waiting but I've had a lot of lookers and so I might have been priced a little bit too high well guys thank you I'm gonna upload this and um, if my husband isn't ready to go I might do that toy haul real quick otherwise I'm gonna get some things listed and I will have a haul I hope on Sunday for you take care and thank you for watching bye bye